Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant and very well, and I'm sure you are, you know. We are back, and I am, <laughs> I'm literally just going around collecting bits of uh, vines and leaves and things like that, so we can go ahead and make a funky base, because in the last episode, you know, we put down the uh, fossil machines and things, but we never actually actually put them in anywhere decent we just kind of you know, we kind of just threw them on the ground doing a bit of littering with the fossil machines so i've decided that it's time that we probably start thinking about you know getting a nice base going on and making things just look that little bit pretty and i've got some cool design ideas on how i want it to work but i am gonna need a load of these guys and i was quite lucky you can notice that i have zero levels it's because i've just been i've been literally grinding trying to get myself a silk touch and i've managed to do it Yes, and we cannot let this guy go away. Hell no, he has to be repaired every day. Without, without, he cannot be missed. So, yes. Now, I've got myself a load of grass blocks. The main reason was that is that's why I actually wanted the silk touch thing with Bob, so we could get a load of those, which is far easier than just, you know, having to having to bring the grass around and stuff like that seeing as we live in the desert which is a bit of a uh, <laughs> look at the size of that dude is that seal or a dugong what are you my friend are you a dugong oh my god look at the size of him he's huge he is massive oh, i kind of want him Ooh, should we take him i think that's the thing let's see if we can get this guy he's like level 34 let's try and batter him down with nine tails a little bit come on nine tails do your thing confuse ray like a boss yeah, you become confused. Okay, right, let's throw out a bit of the... Well, these are going to be rubbish because he's water, so let's just use fan attack. Yeah, did a bit of damage. And he's hurting himself. Good dams. Let's just keep this going. I could do a Dugon, actually. Like, they look pretty funky. And apparently, they're not actually that bad. So, hey, it'd be pretty good to get our hands on one. Oh, he snaps out. Let's use Confuser again. <laughs> Literally, like, this this Confuse Ray is, like, one of the most OP attacks. Like, you can take down most things as long as they stay confused. And you see he hasn't done any damage to me yet, and he's still four levels higher than me, so really I should be at a disadvantage. Also, because I'm kind of a fire type as well, I should be getting my ass handed to me, but it turns out today that is not the case. We're just going to keep beating him down. He used Heal Ring. Oh, let's confuse him again. <laughs> oh, have we got him? Yep, yeah, he's become confused again. Still no damage. Oh, righty then. Let's just keep barring him down. Yes, and he keeps using this thing that's giving him health back. I don't think I approve of this. We'll use this one more time, and then we should be a, a good yes, time to go using this. So, pokey... Let's use our bag. Pokeballs. So, we can use a dive ball, because I think these are against water type. So, let's try one of these and see what happens. Bob. And we should be able to catch this guy, hopefully. He has had yes, quite a battering. Oh, look at Ninetales down there, just having a swim. That's what he does. Come on, stay in your dive ball. You know you want to. Yes. Hey, there we go, we got a Dugong. How cool is that? That probably is good. <laughs> Hopefully, who knows. I'm just going to hope he's good. Yeah. All right, let's make our way back to our lovely base. And we're going to go and grab the... Hmm. We're going to put the blocks down. And then we're going to try and lay out some sort of pathway. Because I want a pathway that goes between all the different houses. Which will look pretty good. Because I've been checking out some of the actual Pokemon games. Some of like snapshots and things for it. And they actually... All the towns are very well organised. So they've all kind of... This buildings are pretty much the same. They're all pathway. They've all got a little garden and things. So I kind of thought that's the look we'll go for. And building it in a desert could look pretty good. You know, having like trees and things and but not having loads of trees you know just just enough to make it look cool just to make it look cool look at these guys <laughs> with their little pink bellies oh we need to have an eat yummy that reminds me I need to get some more food as well because we're definitely running out of bread yeah it'll be fine it'll be good oh i used my camera up earlier in a fight and we absolutely owned it it was insane like i've never seen so much ownage that guy is beast He's beast mode engaged when he needs to, and oh my god, does he proper pull it off. So I've been laying down some of these, which are the sands. Have I got any more meat? Yeah, I have sandstone. I've been laying these down because I want to use these as my pathways to get around. Because I think that would be pretty cool. And then what we're also going to do, so if we go like this, 
and we'll bring this out to about here, I think, and then pull it back. Oh, I shouldn't really be using this one. Let's uh, let's go make another one, shall we? I don't want to go using this. It is far too valuable to me. Let's go make another one, and I'm definitely I've got a load of diamonds. Yeah, I've got tons. It's fine. Let's go get some sticks. Six, six, six. Am I really out of sticks? I think I used them all. Huh, yeah. Oh, no, there we go. Let's take a few of these guys. Cool beans. Let's get another shovel. I'm, I'm not going to use this one because it's a waste because you don't have no idea how long it took me to get this. So let's just throw this guy in here. There we go. Cool beans. We can, like, repair it. Obviously, we can repair it and stuff, but that's not the point. So we're going to have this coming out by one, like this, and then we'll do this, and then we'll throw the grass down. Yeah, and we'll leave it coming out a little bit, so it kind of, we can have it coming right out the side. I think that would work, actually. If we had it come around a little bit, it would look a bit more fancy there we go and we do the same on this side coming right round. so it's going to be pretty big but then what i want to go do with that is i want to fill all the hedges in with oak leaves so it would kind of go a little bit like this yeah there we go and then we'd have a separate line that would go around the back and it, you know i just think it looks kind of cool like in the desert and stuff, I think it kind of works. And everything will be connected via the sandstone, so we'll have none of this here. We're probably gonna have to, you know, get rid of this. And it seems my experiment didn't work. I wanted to see whether if I give a large enough body of water, then we'd actually have water type spawn. But it doesn't seem like that is the case. So we'll have to rethink this one. I'm guessing Pokemon are strictly biome based. Um, yeah. But the weird thing is, I have seen water type in uh, in like sandy areas, but I just I think that was like a biome split. I don't think that was the right type of biome for it to actually be in because it was sand, but it also had a little bit of uh, a little bit of grass and stuff in there as well. So I don't think it fully got that one right. Should we grab some of this wheat because I'm gonna start getting hungry very very soon. Yummy. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And we'll throw our seat back down. This is probably going to have to be moved as well, I think, yeah. Because we can't keep this here, because this is going to be properly renovated here as well. With like a, there'll be some sort of, because we would have it so that, like, from here, we would have a road going directly along here, which will then go straight into our new house down here, which is going to be our science facility. Because I kind of want it so that we have, you know, houses for different purposes. And a science facility, well, that is just cool. Like, you, hey, you cannot say that a science facility is not cool. We're doing some sciencey things. And this will go along here, like this, which will be our roads. Yes. Now, at the minute, it looks really no different because, well, you can notice the slight difference because of the sand. But once this is all dug up, it's it's going to look really good. At least I, I hope it's going to look really good. I would have preferred it because of the biomes and stuff if this was actually the uh, like more greener grass. But there's not really too much we can do about that. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see about that one. I think it's going to work. I'm going to go dig this other side out and we'll be right back and just see how it looks. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to look... Alright, it needs to tidy it up, maybe bring it forward a little bit more, and we'll have some going along the side, so it could be an outline going around the building, but only of one block, so that way it doesn't stick out too much, it doesn't look like, yeah, if it comes along, if we had like one row along here, yeah, I think it would make it look a little bit better, but we wouldn't bring the uh, leaves out, we'd just leave those where they are, but except for that, it actually looks alright, I think, once you get loads more buildings of that sort of stuff, and a lot more kind of foliage, I think it will kind of stick it won't stick out like a sore thumb too badly and obviously once you get more kind of 3d elements in it should start bulking out a little bit so like if we was to throw down even like an oak tree if we just threw down a random if we just like got a bit of oak and stuff like that and, 
had a little oak tree along here somewhere. So we have like one here and then maybe one here. And we'll let those grow and see how they pop out. Uh, and grab some, I'm pretty sure I had earlier some bones. Yeah, we do, cool beans. And we'll turn this into bone meal. We should, if we do this, in this, in this, and we will obviously have to go and tidy it all up because that just looks rubbish. But if we got rid of a load of the grass, because I like the way that it spawns in the flowers, I think they look pretty cool. Oh, knocked up a tree. Yeah, there we go. flowers. I think it puts them in a kind of a nice place. Let's throw this tree back down. We'll throw it here. Like that. And we'll knock this out. Let's add them. These guys have kind of grown in quite a nice place. I quite like it. I like how, how it's, it's very kind of... There's no real way of saying where they're actually going to be. Uh, they're probably going to need moving out a little bit. So if we have like one here. I don't know. One here. With a red one like here somewhere. That's looking a little bit nicer. A few flowers and things. I like it. And this one looks a little bit too overdone, I think. Yeah, that's, yeah that'll probably do. Yeah. Yeah, maybe bring it forward a little bit more. Let's try getting our tree. Is he gonna grow? Yeah, he's gonna grow. Cool. And you! Cool! Alright. That looks a little bit better. A few flowers, a couple of trees. I like it. We just need some lights and things, and then we're actually going to be looking pretty good. I think it, I think it works. I think it works. We just, like I said, I just need to bring this side out because it does look too rigid. Otherwise, it sticks out too much. Otherwise, they just don't work together. But hey, once we've got more of these houses, it's it's going to fit in a lot better. It will work tons better. I think. I hope. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. But I think it's going to work. So let's throw back our sand, because I, I currently don't need this. And I do want to go grab a couple of things from a pokey center that I'm going to need. Uh, once, once I've got some more bread as well, let's go get some more bread, because we're going to very quickly run out. Bam. And, bam. and one more. Yeah, you know you want it. Let's go get some stuff. We're going looting. We're going looting, boys. Pretty good. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to take the Charizard, because that's just how we roll around here. Let's get into F5, and bam, we're off. Yeah, I haven't actually fallen off my Charizard now in about three days, which is pretty good for me, because I've got a brilliant habit of falling off my Charizard. <laughs> what do you guys think of the stadium so far that Dudart's been building? Very early days, but looking very cool so far. Obviously, it's, it's just an outline at the minute, and there's lots more work he's done, but it is getting there. It's looking pretty cool. I like it. So I'm going to go and grab a load of rubbish from here that I'm going to need. And, ooh, a trainer. Ooh, what have you got, Mr. Colton, level 13? This could be a good chance to level up our Omanyte. I think it might be. Let's throw you. Ooh. And he's got a level 13 Venonat. So we're probably going to have our ass handed to us. So let's go and bring out, like a bit. let's bring out Nicki Minaj, because she's pretty good. She is. Boom. Ooh. Oh man, I'm poisoned. Sucks. Let's use heart stamp. Oh, insane. Oh, yep. Omanite's doing a little grow. We're doing all the damage right here. The only problem is we're a little bit poisoned. <laughs> so we're going to have to, uh, yeah. Luckily, we're right next to a Poke Center. Well, what is a Poke Center? What is soon to be uh, my house or parts of my house, but hey, it's fine. Yeah. We've still got these chests in here from when we last had the last fight. It's pretty cool. So I want a load of, uh, a load of wool. That's a thing. Because I really don't want to go around getting loads of... I'm going to have that. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to... Do I need it? No. I'm going to get a load of wool so we can go and... Burr, 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 build the rest of our uh, Pokeball. And 
I need to get a load of red wool as well, which luckily the roof's made out of. So let's take a load of this plank. Do we need quartz? Quartz can actually look pretty cool. Let's take quartz. Yeah, doing a bit of looting. <laughs> oh, hopefully the guy looks at this place isn't going to notice. Now I need the red stuff on the roof as well, so we're going to have to treasure ourselves up there. And grab a load of that, or we could just take the doorway. <laughs> we'll grab all of this. Is that grey well as well? Whoa, this place is pimping. We might have to take some of this stuff as well. Okay, right, you're mine. And I got a feeling we can. Yeah, we've got 18, 14, 26, some of this stuff. This guy actually hasn't got any white wool, has it? Which, ooh, there's a little bit of white wool. We'll take that. I'm going to dirt my way up here. Cool beans. And we'll take this. I don't know if I'm going to need grey, but we're going to take it anyway. Yeah. Just don't tell the guys that I did this. <laughs> Just say it was a wild Pokemon. A wild Pokemon appeared and took down the Poke Center. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's, that's exactly what happened. That is literally it. Nothing else happened. It's not like I came along and pulled it down. No, sir. It's all right. I'll fix it up one day. One day. <laughs> all right. Let's make our way back. And uh, we'll finish off this Pokeball. And I promise I will come back and fix it up. Maybe not with that stuff. But, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll fix it up. It'll be boarded up, but it still look good, I think. Yeah, it's a thing. That's a thing. So, we're going to finish off our Pokeball. And we're going to lay out the boundaries for this new house that's going to work. I, I like this. I think it looks cool. I think it's going to work. Yeah. Like a town inside a inside this place. I think it's going to be a good thing. So, let's go and uh, let's go grab some... Oh, we can actually finish most of this off now as well, because we just need this white here, which I'm pretty sure I've got some white. I did. Oh. E, and I think three is literally... <laughs> I think that's how many we need. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Pokeball finished. I think this still needs a bit of work on the middle. Maybe get some white around it, or white then black. Something like that. But for the time being, it will do, it will do the job. And we need to do this black, so let's do this. Okay. At least we're starting to get this place looking a little bit nicer. Bam, bam, bam. And we'll do up here like this. Yeah, that's a thing. And can we do this side? We can do there. I don't know if it's going to look any good, but we'll give it a go. Let's go grab you and do that. Ah! Well, it's better than nothing, put it that way. It's getting there. Yeah. At least it's going to stop those areas from setting a light. It's not going to stop these areas here, though, but still, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't want to go put that there, because that just looks a bit wonky otherwise. Okay. Oh. All right, so we've done that. We've got loads of these guys, so let's get some carbon. Yeah, grab a load of you. All the cobble. And we're going to say where we want this place to be. So, if we had the road coming... Oh my god, look at all these Pokemon. <laughs> Chilling out. Let's get my uh, torches. And we're going to throw some torches down so it's not so horrible and dark out here. And there we go. Yeah. It's looking loads better. Cool beans. Alright, so. If we had the road coming along here, like this... And we wanted a little house here, just a little kind of thing to go into. Now, bear in mind, we're going to rip this down. So, we could have it even sign like here. Which could work, but it will be kind of close together. So, let's have it start here, like where I planned. I think that's going to work. So, we'd have it come out. And we have come out a bit more. Uh, maybe to here. Now, these have to be on the back wall, because I'm, I can't really move them. Because I'm pretty sure if you 
get rid of these, they break, which very much sucks. So we'll do this and bring it out. It's just going to be the regular kind of size house, like nothing stupendously special. But I would like it if it was a little bit more square, but I don't really think there's too much we can do about that at the minute. But it's still going to be like a decent size, I think. Uh, and we're going to have a red roof, because I think that's a thing for most Pokemon houses. They always seem to have a red roof, a kind of red concaving roof that goes down. We'll, we'll go for that. And then our gym will be the one that will stick out a little bit. But with the red roofs, I think it will fit the whole kind of fiery scene as well. So I think that's going to be a thing. I think that will work. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine. Alright you guys, well I'm going to leave this episode here because I've got some mining to do and I've got a load of uh, wool finding because I'm going to need a lot more red wool than 21 bits. So we're going to go do that unless we can get a load more white wool. I did actually have an idea of getting a load of Mareeps, catching like tons of Mareeps and then just filling my inventory with Mareeps and just keep throwing them out, trimming them, throwing them out, trimming them. By the time I get back to the beginner one they probably should have had their... Uh, you know, got the wall bag, so just keep doing that. I wonder if that would actually work. I think that could be something we should actually try, because that means we should be able to get a load more. The problem with Pixelmon, which I found, is because you haven't got that kind of natural mobs, it's really hard to try and, to try and, you know, get all the items and things that you need. And it's even harder for XP grinding. Jesus. Like, trying to get the Silk Touch on this guy was redonkulous, because there's no mobs. You can't, like, there's no mobs to go XP grinding on. There's nothing. And these guys don't give you nothing, so it was, uh, it's, it's fun. But trying to find a way around it, I think, you know, I think that'd be more fun, trying to figure that sort of stuff out. I'm pretty good at that sort of stuff, so we'll come up with a master plan. That is how we do it. All right, guys, I'll see you soon for another episode of Pixel 1. Have a good one, and goodbye.